Genesis, chapters 16 through 18. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, bare him no children, and she had a handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar. And Sarai said unto Abram, Behold now, the Lord hath restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go in unto my maid. It may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sarai. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, after Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband Abram to be his wife. And he went in unto Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. And Sarai said unto Abram, My wrong be upon thee. I have given my maid into thy bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord judge between me and thee. But Abram said unto Sarai, Behold, thy maid is in thy hand. Do to her as it pleaseth thee. And when Sarai dealt hardly with her, she fled from her face. And the angel of the Lord found her by a fountain of water in the wilderness, by the fountain in the way to Shur. And he said, Hagar, Sarai's maid, whence camest thou, and whither wilt thou go? And she said, I flee from the face of my mistress Sarai. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Return to thy mistress, and submit thyself under her hands. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed exceedingly, that it shall not be numbered for multitude. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shalt bear a son, and shalt call his name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction. And he will be a wild man, his hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him, and he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. And she called the name of the Lord that spake unto her, Thou God seest me. For she said, Have I also here looked after him that seeth me? Wherefore, the well was called Beer Lay High Roy. Behold, it is between Kadesh and Barad. And Hagar bare Abram a son, and Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare, Ishmael. And Abram was fourscore and six years old when Hagar bare Ishmael to Abram. And when Abram was ninety years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God, walk before me, and be thou perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and thee, and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Neither shall I name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be Abraham, for a father of many nations have I made thee. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant, to be a God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. And I will give unto thee, and to thy seed after thee, the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant therefore thou, and thy seed after thee, in their generations. This is my covenant, which ye shall keep, between me and you, and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. And ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you, every man child in your generations. He that is born in the house, or bought with money of any stranger, which is not of thy seed. He that is born in thy house, and he that is bought with thy money, must needs be circumcised. And my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised man-child, whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people. He hath broken my covenant. And God said unto Abraham, As for Sarai thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall her name be. And I will bless her, and give thee a son also of her. Yea, I will bless her, and she shall be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall be of her. Then Abraham fell upon his face, and laughed, and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is a hundred years old? And shall Sarah, that is ninety years old, bear? And Abraham said unto God, O oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, and with his seed after him. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him, and will make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation.
but my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this time in the next year. And he left off talking with him, and God went up from Abraham. And Abraham took Ishmael his son, and all that were born in his house, and all that were bought with his money, every male among the men of Abraham's house, and circumcised the flesh of their foreskin in the selfsame way, as God had said unto him. And Abraham was ninety years old and nine, when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And Ishmael his son was thirteen years old, when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. In the selfsame day was Abraham circumcised, and Ishmael his son. And all the men of his house, born in the house, and bought with the money of the stranger, were circumcised with him. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes, and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door, and bowed himself toward the ground, and said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched, and wash your feet, and rest yourselves under the tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread, and comfort ye your hearts. After that ye shall pass on, for therefore are ye come to your servant. And they said, So do as thou hast said. And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah, and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal, knead it, and make cakes upon the hearth. And Abraham ran into the herd, and fetched a calf tender and good, and gave it unto a young man, and he hastened to dress it. And he took butter and milk, and the calf which he had dressed, and set it before them, and he stood by them under the tree, and they did eat. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door, which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, and well stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old shall I have pleasure, my lord being old also? And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a surety bear a child which am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed I will return unto thee, according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Then Sarah denied, saying, I laughed not, for she was afraid. And he said, Nay, but thou didst laugh. And the men rose up from thence, and looked toward Sodom, and Abraham went with them to bring them on the way. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him? For I know him, that he will command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of the Lord, to do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he had spoken of him. And the Lord said, Because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now, and see whether they have done altogether according to the cry of it, which is come unto me, and if not, I will know. And when the men turned their faces from thence, and went toward Sodom, but Abraham stood yet before the Lord. And Abraham drew near and said, Wilt thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Peradventure there be fifty righteous within the city. Wilt thou also destroy and not spare the place for the fifty righteous that are therein? That be far from thee to do after this manner, to slay the righteous with the wicked, and that the righteous should be as the wicked. That be far from thee. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? And the Lord said, If I find in Sodom fifty righteous within the city, then I will spare all the place for their sakes. And Abraham answered and said, Behold, now I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord, which I am but dust and ashes. Peradventure, thou shalt lack five of the fifty righteous. Wilt thou destroy all the city for lack of five? And he said, If I find there forty and five, I will not destroy it. He spake unto him yet again, and said, Peradventure, there shall be forty found there. And he said, I will not do it for forty's sake. He said unto him, O, oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak. Peradventure, there shall be thirty found there. And he said, I will not do it if I find thirty there. And he said, Behold now, I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord. Peradventure, there should be twenty found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for twenty's sake. And he said, O, oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak yet but this once. Peradventure, ten shall be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for ten's sake. And the Lord went his way as soon as he had left communing with Abraham. And Abraham returned unto his place. Psalm 7. Shagayan of David, which he sang unto the Lord, concerning the words of Cush the Benjamite. 
O Lord my God, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me, and deliver me. Lest he tear my soul like a lion, rending it in pieces, while there is none to deliver. O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in my hands, if I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him that without cause is my enemy. Let the enemy persecute my soul and take it. Yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth, and lay mine honor in the dust. Selah. Arise, O Lord, in thine anger. Lift up thyself because of the rage of mine enemies, and awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall a congregation of people compass thee about. For their sakes, therefore, return thou on high. The Lord shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness, and according to mine integrity that is in me. O let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just, for the righteous God trieth the hearts and reins. My defense is of God, which saveth the upright in heart. God judgeth the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He hath bent his bow, and made it ready. He hath also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordaineth his arrows against the persecutors. Behold, he travaileth with iniquity, and hath conceived mischief, and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit, and digged it, and has fallen into the ditch, which he had made. His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Proverbs chapter 1, verses 20 through 24. Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city she uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called, and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. First Esdras, chapter 5. After this were the principal men of the families chosen according to their tribes, to go up with their wives and sons and daughters, with their men servants and maidservants and their cattle. And Darius sent with them a thousand horsemen, till they had brought them back to Jerusalem safely, and with musical instruments, tabrets, and flutes. And the brethren played, and he made them go up together with them. And these are the names of the men which went up, according to their families, among their tribes, and their several heads. And the priests, the sons of Phineas, the son of Aaron, Jesus, the son of Josedek, the son of Sarias, and Joasim, the son of Zorobabel, the son of Salathiel, of the house of David, out of the kindred of fairies of the tribe of Judah, who spake wise sentences before Darius, the king of Persia, in the second year of his reign, in the month Nisan, which is the first month. And these are they of Jewry that came up from the captivity, where they dwelt as strangers, whom Nabuchodonosor, the king of Babylon, had carried away unto Babylon. And they returned unto Jerusalem, and to the other parts of Jewry, every man to his own city, who came with Zorobabel, with Jesus, Nehemiah, and Zacharias, and Resaias, and Aeneas, Maradecus, Bilsarus, Aspharasus, Relius, Roimus, and Bayana, their guides. The number of them of the nation, and their governors, sons of Phoros, two thousand, a hundred seventy and two, the sons of Saphat, four hundred seventy and two, the sons of Ares, seven hundred fifty and six, the sons of Phaeth Moab, two thousand eight hundred and twelve, the sons of Elam, a thousand two hundred fifty and four, the sons of Zathui, nine hundred forty and five, the sons of Corby, seven hundred and five, the sons of Bani, six hundred forty and eight, and the sons of Bebai, six hundred twenty and three, the sons of Sadas, three thousand two hundred twenty and two, the sons of Adonakam, six hundred sixty and seven, the sons of Bagoi, two thousand sixty and six, the sons of Aden, four hundred fifty and four, the sons of Aterazias, ninety and two, the sons of Silon and Azetas, three score and seven, the sons of Azaran, four hundred thirty and two, the sons of Ananias, a hundred and one, the sons of Aurum, thirty two, the sons of Bassa, three hundred twenty and three, the sons of Azaphurith, a hundred and two, the sons of Matiras, 
3,005. The sons of Bethlehemon, 120 and 3. They of Natopha, 50 and 5. They of Anathoth, 150 and 8. They of Beth Samos, 40 and 2. They of Kiriath Yaris, 20 and 5. They of Kephira and Baroth, 740 and 3. They of Pira, 700. They of Kadias and Amidoi, 420 and 2. They of Sarama and Gabdes, 620 and 1. They of Makalon, 120 and 2. They of Batolius, 50 and 2. The sons of Nephis, 150 and 6. The sons of Kalamolalus and Onus, 720 and 5. The sons of Jericus, 240 and 5. The sons of Annas, 3,330. The priests, the sons of Jedu, the son of Jesus, among the sons of Sanasib, 970 and 2. The sons of Merath, 1,050 and 2. The sons of Phasaron, 1,040 and 7. The sons of Carmi, 1,017. The Levites, the sons of Jesui, and Cadmiel, and Banuas, and Sudias, 70 and 4. The Holy Singers, the sons of Asaph, 120 and 8. The Porters, the sons of Salom, the sons of Jatal, the sons of Talman, the sons of Dakobai, the sons of Teta, the sons of Samai, in all, 130 and 9. The servants of the temple, the sons of Esau, the sons of Asipha, the sons of Tabeath, the sons of Siras, the sons of Sud, the sons of Phileas, the sons of Labana, the sons of Graba, the sons of Akua, the sons of Uta, the sons of Setab, the sons of Agaba, the sons of Subai, the sons of Anan, the sons of Kathua, the sons of Gedur, the sons of Iris, the sons of Dison, the sons of Noba, the sons of Kasaba, the sons of Kazera, the sons of Uzziah, the sons of Phinees, the sons of Azara, the sons of Bastai, the sons of Asana, the sons of Mianai, the sons of Nephisi, the sons of Akub, the sons of Asipha, the sons of Asur, the sons of Pharasim, the sons of Basaloth, the sons of Meda, the sons of Kutha, the sons of Korea, the sons of Carcass, the sons of Aserer, the sons of Thomi, the sons of Nasith, the sons of Atapha, the sons of the servants of Solomon, the sons of Azaphion, the sons of Ferira, the sons of Geli, the sons of Lozon, the sons of Isdiel, the sons of Sapheth, the sons of Haggia, the sons of Bacchareth, the sons of Sabai, the sons of Sarothie, the sons of Messias, the sons of Gar, the sons of Addis, the sons of Suba, the sons of Aphera, the sons of Barodus, the sons of Sabbat, the sons of Alum. All the ministers of the temple and the sons of the servants of Solomon were three hundred seventy and two. These came up from Thermeleth and Thelerasas, Karealathar, leading them, and Aalar. Neither could they show their families nor their stock how they were of Israel, the sons of Laden, the son of Ban, the sons of Nekodon, 650 and 2. And of the priests that usurped the office of the priesthood and were not found, the sons of Obdiah, the sons of Akos, the sons of Addos, who married Agia, one of the daughters of Berzelus, and was named after his name. And when the description of the kindred of these men was sought in the register, and was not found, they were removed from executing the office of the priesthood. For unto them said Nehemiah and Atharias, that they should not be partakers of the holy things, till there rose up a high priest clothed with doctrine and truth. So of Israel, from the twelve years old and upward, they were all in number forty thousand, beside men servants and women servants, two thousand three hundred and sixty. Their men servants and handmaids were seven thousand three hundred forty and seven, the seeing men and seeing women two hundred forty and five, four hundred thirty and five camels, seven thousand thirty and six horses, two hundred forty and five mules, five thousand five hundred twenty and five beasts used to the yoke. And certain of the chief of their families, when they came to the temple of God that is in Jerusalem, vowed to set up the house again in his own place according to their ability and to give into the holy treasury of the works a thousand pounds of gold, five thousand of silver, and a hundred priestly vestments. And so dwelt the priests and the Levites and the people in Jerusalem and in the country, the singers also, and the porters, and all Israel in their villages. But when the seventh month was at hand, and when the children of Israel were every man in his own place, 
they came all together with one consent into the open place of the first gate, which is toward the east. Then stood up Jesus, the son of Josedek, and his brethren the priests, and Zorobabel, the son of Salathiel, and his brethren, and made ready the altar of the God of Israel, to offer burnt sacrifices upon it, according as it is expressly commanded in the book of Moses, the man of God. And they were gathered unto them out of the other nations of the land, and they erected the altar upon his own place, because all the nations of the land were at enmity with them, and oppressed them. And they offered sacrifices according to the time, and burnt offerings to the Lord both morning and evening. Also, they held the Feast of Tabernacles, as it is commemorated in the law, and offered sacrifices daily, as was meet. And after that, the continual oblations, and the sacrifice of Sabbaths, and of the new moons, and of all holy feasts. And all they that had made any vow to God began to offer sacrifices to God from the first day of the seventh month, although the temple of the Lord was not yet built. And they gave unto the masons and carpenters money, meat, and drink with cheerfulness. Unto them of Zidon also, in Tyre, they gave cars, that they should bring cedar trees from Lebanus, which should be brought by floats to the haven of Joppe, according as it was commanded them by Cyrus, king of the Persians. And in the second year and second month after his coming to the temple of God at Jerusalem, began Zorobabel, the son of Salathiel, and Jesus, the son of Josedek, and their brethren, and the priests, and the Levites, and all they that were coming to Jerusalem out of the captivity. And they laid the foundation of the house of God in the first day of the second month, in the second year after they were come to Jewry and Jerusalem. And they appointed the Levites from twenty years old over the works of the Lord. Then stood up Jesus and his sons and brethren, and Cadmiel his brother, and the sons of Mediabon, with the sons of Jodah, the son of Eliadon, with their sons and brethren, all Levites, with one accord settlers, forward of the business, laboring to advance the works of the house of God. So the workmen built the temple of the Lord. And the priests stood arrayed in their vestments with musical instruments and trumpets. And the Levites, the sons of Asaph, had cymbals singing songs of thanksgiving and praising the Lord, according as David the king of Israel had ordained. And they sung with loud voices songs to the praise of the Lord, because his mercy and glory is forever in all Israel. And all the people sounded trumpets, and shouted with a loud voice, singing songs of thanksgiving unto the Lord, for the rearing up of the house of the Lord. Also of the priests and Levites, and of the chief of their families, the ancients who had seen the former house, came to the building of this with weeping and great crying. But many with trumpets and joy shouted with loud voice. Insomuch that the trumpets might not be heard for the weeping of the people, yet the multitude sounded marvelously, so that it was heard afar off. Wherefore, when the enemies of the tribe of Judah and Benjamin heard it, they came to know what that noise of trumpets should mean. And they perceived that they were aware of the captivity, did build the temple unto the Lord God of Israel. So they went to Zorobabel and Jesus, and to the chief of the families, and said unto them, we will bid together with you. For likewise, as ye do obey your Lord, and do sacrifice unto him from the days of Azbazareth, the king of the Assyrians, who brought us hither. Then Zorobabel and Jesus, and the chief of the families of Israel, said unto them, It is not for us and you to build together a house unto the Lord our God. We ourselves alone will build unto the Lord of Israel, according as Cyrus, the king of the Persians, hath commanded us. But the heathen of the land, lying heavy upon the inhabitants of Judea, and holding them straight, hindered their building. And by their secret plots, and popular persuasions and commotions, they hindered the finishing of the building all the time that King Cyrus lived, so that they were hindered from building for the space of two years, until the reign of Darius.